It's been a cold winter, I'ma switch it for the summer. I ain't packing, but still, suckers run for cover. I mean the sunshine, cause I know I got mine. Pimping is a short thing, buried in my bloodline. They sit to hell with me, but I prepare really. They can step to me, my rap is medicine. You don't wanna F with me, I'm always fresh with it. On my best weekly, you ain't stressed. What are my kings and queens? Welcome back to the kingdom. It's your boy, Kings at 23 Kicks, and I'm here with another video for you guys to wrap up the end of the month. So, we're gonna good news, bad news, but the first thing that I wanna say is that we did not hit our goal of 500 subscribers um, by the end of the month. Um, so, I'm a little disappointed, but at the same time, it's okay, because I'm actually gonna be doing more giveaways later on, so we got goals to reach. And just to let y'all know, one of my main goals is to hit like a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So with that in mind, keep it up. Keep that in mind because your boy's gonna come up with something else where, for another giveaway. So since we did not hit the 500 subscriber mark, um, I would not be able to, uh, since, we did, since we did not hit the 500 subscriber mark, no one is going to win the cool four great giveaway. But it's okay. So don't be discouraged. Don't be upset about it. It's all right. It's going to be okay because I'm going to be doing more giveaways. So just stay tuned. And when I figure out what giveaways I'm going to do, then I'm definitely going to be doing that and providing that for you guys. I may even do some merch or something. Who knows? But the goal for the year is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So the kingdom still is going to grow. We're going to get it together and it's all right. So for everyone that has subscribed and have been watching my videos and follow me on Instagram, I greatly appreciate y'all. Let's get the kingdom growing, all right? So now, let's get to the purpose of you guys watching the video. So I know you're watching the video and you was like, collection, what part of the collection did he get completed? So if anyone that's ever been watching my videos, you guys know that as a matter of fact, hold that up. So to start the video, um, what I wanted to do is uh, actually show, the first thing I want to show you guys is my Funko Pop. Um, I know it's not that big of a deal, but to be honest with y'all, this is my first Funko Pop uh, that I purchased. As you can see, it is the number 54 Michael Jordan. So I actually purchased this at Sneaker Summit when uh, I went this past Sunday. And I do have that video for Sneaker Summit. It's just that I'm trying to edit it, so it's coming up soon, but you know, I have some copyright issues with that video. Y'all know they was blasting music in there the whole time. So I'm trying to get that video uploaded uh, and get these copyrights on it. So I may have to re-edit the video to where they can get up there so you guys can check that out if you guys did not go to Sneaker Summit. And shout out to everybody that I met at Sneaker Summit. It was great. I appreciate uh, everyone that I met. I got a lot of people to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and stuff like that. And for those ones who just now joining the the kingdom, stay tuned, man. I'm, I'm gonna keep these keep these bangers coming. I'm gonna keep the information coming for you guys. So that's the whole point of me doing this channel for you guys. But this is my first Funko Pop that I've gotten, man. And um. From what I understand, I think it's it's like three or four of them, and I'm definitely gonna get some more. So if you guys have Funko Pops, just uh, let me know, comment down below. Let me know what Funko Pops you have and where I can get some more of these because I like the Michael Jordan ones, and those are the ones that I'm really trying to get. Um, and I think I wanna get the LeBron James one. Actually, I want the LeBron James one, but the LeBron James one that they had when I got this at Sneaker Summit was in a Laker jersey. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling that. I'm not a Laker fan at all, not even a little bit. And I like LeBron James. I mess with LeBron James. I mean, like, like I said, I have quite a few LeBron James shoes, but I do not deal with the Lakers at all. Eh. Anyway, you guys know that I do outlet vlogs. I go in the outlet, see what's going on, see if you can get some steals and deals. I do that all the time. And there have been times where I do pick up stuff and I haven't let you guys know what I've been picking up. And it's crazy. So that's what this is gonna be bad, but I got a couple of maybe thumbnails. So I'm gonna show you guys my pickups, which is 
I'm always buying shirts, so, or shoes, or something like that. Um, first one is this one right here, just Jordan shirt, the black and red. Um, I actually picked this up in uh, Pasadena when I did the, the outlet vlog for that one. I'll definitely put that up there. If you guys haven't seen that up there, put that card up there. But I got this one. Um, the main reason I got this one is because I got it for those mids. Those uh, mids that are black with the red and the trim and the gray in it. That's why I got that one for. The next one that I got was a Jordan 1 gray. You know what I'm saying? So, pick that one up. Um, I actually got that one in Round Rock. Uh, I believe so. Um, this one, this is, yeah, this one's black. Um, with White with the Black Jump Man. I actually picked this one up on Finish Line, I believe. And it was for the low, 10 bucks. Who's not going to do that? So, Finish Line was given at that sale a couple of weeks ago. I picked that one up for 10 bucks. This one I got, just a Jordan with this one. I think, well, it's more like the design of the seven. And I love seven, so picked this one up, 10 bucks as well. Uh, I believe that was finish line. Another one, 10 bucks, finish line. Hey, y'all comment down below. Let me know if you guys uh, be getting these steals and deals because I'm about to steal in the deal. If I can pay a better price for it, best believe I'm gonna do it. Just saying. Right, I actually picked this one up. This is for my South Beach 8s. I actually have a couple of shirts for my South Beach 8s. And I, uh, I'm the type I like to keep a couple of shirts for each pair of shoes. I don't like to have one shirt just for the pair of shoes because if I rock the shoes again, which I do rock my shoes several times, it's not gonna be just always wearing that same shirt. So I always like to get a couple of shirts for that. but. I was feeling this one. I like the design on this one. Probably be rocking that one soon because I haven't worn my South Beach 8s in a while. So I got to put them back in rotation. That I got, I actually picked up while I was in Sneaker Summit. Um, and I was walking by their table and I liked the shirt. It, it actually caught my attention. Um, it is the Sneakerhead Dad shirt. So I actually love this shirt because I definitely am a sneakerhead. And of course, y'all know. I'm a dad, I'm a father. So that's why I picked up this shirt, um, 20 bucks. Definitely like that. Um, I forgot the name of the guy who I got the shirt from. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to the main course. So now that I've given you guys the appetizer, let's get to the main course. So for anyone that's been watching my videos, um, I did, rave about a certain pack that came out this year that I was loving. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I'm gonna put the description up there. I'm gonna put that up there so you guys can click on that and check out the videos that I, that I did on these. And this one, what I have here is actually a completion of that video. So that's what this is about. This box um, comes from goat um, it's actually the second shoe that I've actually gotten from goat um, but we're gonna see this is the completion of the pack and if anybody's ever been watching my videos um, I actually had done videos on each one of these shoes but I didn't do one on the one that I had missing so I did get it for less than retail because that's what I like to do. If I can wait and get the shoe for less than retail, that's what I'm going to do. Don't get me wrong. I know some shoes I'm going to get when the day they come out because that's what I do. And if I feel like I, it's not going to stay, you know, stay on the shelves, so to speak, or if I feel like it's going to sell out, then I'm definitely going to try to jump on it if I'm feeling the shoe. I do get shoes that I like. It's not about the hype. It's not about what everybody else like. It's about what I like. And that's what I do. So I'm not going to encourage you to, ooh, don't get the shoe because it's hype. No, I'm encouraging you to get the shoe because if you want the shoe, you get the shoe. But if you can wait on the shoe for a lower price, I'm gonna, definitely going to do that. So that's exactly what this is. So let me, let's get to it. And let me break out my knife. Y'all know how I am. 
I love my knife. Kids, make sure that you do not play with knives. Do not at all. So, I don't even know where the top is, but. I love this box. You know something special in this box when you get this. So, this reads Air Jordan Retro SP. That's a special reflective silver. So, I'm not going to go over it too much because, oh, snap. Hold on. Go verify it. Popping the top open. You already know the car. We went over the car before in my other videos. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the other videos because this shoe has been out. Um, so, opening it up. Putting that out. We got that seven reflective board. That seven reflective. So the reason why I say it's completed now is because as of right now, I have all the reflective shoes. So when these came out this year, six, seven, and eight, um, in one of my other videos, I said this was made after the Carmine, not the, the Cardinal, excuse me. This was made after the Cardinal. And I knew that the seven would sit because sevens just don't sell like that. Um, so it, it sat on the sneakers app. It's still sitting on sneakers app, but GOAT had it for under retail. So that's where I went with that. So even with this, hold that up, pack complete. So you have the six. So we have the six reflective. And I know a lot of y'all wondering, why is it not in the boxes like that? Because they're actually still DS, and the stuff that I have DS is not in my walls. It's actually still in the box. So you have the six, the seven, the eight, the Neymar. So, and the 13. So, I have all of the pack, and I'm kind of excited about it because I have a complete pack. Of course, I want to complete other packs, um, just a couple of them that I have on my hit list, so to speak, but I'm really excited about getting all of these guys. Basically, I have all of the reflective pack. And I know my thing is, you have your five, six, seven, eight, and then your 13. And I understand that this is probably not that hype to everybody else who cares, but you know what? I do what I do because I like it. And that's what matters to me. And having this pack complete is a good thing to me. I like that, I, so I appreciate that. So y'all comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you guys have any of these? Do you guys get any of the reflective? Do you have the whole complete pack of them? I know I'm digging the reflective pack. I know it took me a little bit to, to get the shoe, but like I said, I wanted to get it for the low. I wasn't trying to pay that 225 when I already did for the first two. So I wasn't trying to hear that again. So it is what it is. Plus I got other stuff that I want to copy and go get, you know what I'm saying? So. That just leaves room for me to get other shoes. It is what it is. So y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about that. What y'all think about the reflections pack. Let me know, did you guys copy? Let me go, let me know, did you like it or not? You know what I'm saying? Or hey, did you take an L on it? But if you did take an L on it, they have them on GOAT. They have them on StockX. Y'all know the sources to go get the stuff. But I'm gonna tell you now, they have them for below retail and that's what I was on and I got the shoe. So, Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, y'all know I already know I gotta say my saying. It is what it is. Y'all know this. To all my kings, stand up 
and my queens, make sure you stand beside your king. And always remember, it's always the right time to do the right thing. Peace. When stressing me, coming from the bottom, moving straight to the top. Yeah. Coming with the put up for the number one spot. Yeah. Pushing my rap, like a push on the block. Yeah. Holding my ground, so I rappers get lost.